Hi students, in this particular uh, video, I would be discussing more about the 64 forms of art uh, in, which was uh, discussed and it was uh, taken care of, I should say, in the uh, traditional Indian system. So they were also called as the Chaucet Kalas, uh, you know, in the traditional, um, I should say, educational system so here we will see uh, the definition of color what it is so that i can uh, go in a flow and later on understand as to how it is and what it was taken care of now color means performing art so remember that uh, in ancient or in sanskrit uh, you know when they are talking about color it usually stands for performing arts now if it is a performing art then remember that these are uh, you know categories of visual arts so that is the reason why immediately I am uh, taking care of this particular uh, video wherein I am going to showcase to you and make you understand as to what the Chaucet Kalas are. The mastery of, uh, you know, me uh, who was attending uh, some of the classes, especially on Indian art system, therein I learned about these things. So I thought, okay, let me go ahead and share them with you also. The mastery of as many as of the 64 traditional arts are known as the Chaucet Kalas or Chatu, uh, Chaturth Shashti Kalas formed a basis, you should say, on the development of the cultured individual in uh, ancient India. So try to understand that, yes, you pick up any system of education in the traditional schools of India. Uh, in ancient days, I would say that, yes, if you are known to be a cultured individual, then you are supposed to be aware of this Chaucet Kalas or Chatur uh, Shashti Kalas, you know, in Sanskrit that they are calling it at. Now, uh, you know, there was a story also wherein this was uh, taken care of and you will see in the books written by Vatsayana, uh, you know, in his Kam uh, Sutras or even if we look into the other traditional books, Sanskrit books which are available, they all discussed about this. However, the reference goes to the Vishnu Puran or the Krishna stories, you know, wherein it is said that uh, Bhagwan Krishna, um, you know, possessed these arts also side by side. So, you know, it's not just the god and goddesses. However, even the human beings were given training until the time the 64 Kalas were not, uh, you know, completely taken care of. They were not allowed to proceed further. So, you know, um, this, this is a story which goes about that after slaying of Kamsa and the thread ceremony, Krishna, that is the Opanayana, we say, uh, you know, Janevu ceremony, that is, Krishna and Balram went to the ashram of Guru uh, Sandipani in the city of the Avan that is Jain, that is Ujjain, um, and they had to, uh, you know, spend around 64 days in which uh, Krishna learned 14 types of sciences, that is the Vidyas, and 64 arts, which is the Kalas, and each of which uh, would take a normal person to two uh, and half years to accomplish. Now, here, uh, you know, I'll be discussing about these Vidyas also side by side later on. First, let us move ahead and try to understand what are these forms of art. So, the arts are basically called as the Ch Chaucet Kalas number one number two vidyas we will see later on now coming to my uh, next uh, part of it here is the complete list that we can see and understand the chaucet kalas first and foremost is the geet vidya the art of singing Imagine, uh, you know, this was there and you can compare these things with the Platonic studies uh, wherein uh, in Republic when uh, Plato said that yes, dance and singing should be, uh, you know, introduced into the system of the education. Now he does talk about it. So I'm not uh, going to do the comparative study. However, very quickly, let me go ahead and um, uh, share uh, the 64 Kalas that we have got. So Geet Vidya, which is the art of singing, uh, Vad Vidya, which is the art of playing on musical instruments, Nitya Vidya, which is the art of dancing, that is the Nitya Karna, you know, the dance forms. Then uh, Natya Vidya, that is art of theatricals. Now, look at the uh, list and the way they are being numbered. Art of singing, art of playing on musical instruments, then comes art of dancing, then Natya Vidya, which is art of theatricals. Okay, Alekya Vidya, which is art of painting, then 
विशेष कच दिया आर्ट दिस इज अगैन आर्ट ऑफ पेंटिंग नाउ यू नो इफ यू गो टू साउथ इंडिया एंड इफ यू हैव सीन कथकली द वे दे पेंट द एंटायर सो यू नो इन मॉडर्न टर्मिनोलॉजीज दिस हैज ऑल्सो बीन टेकन द फॉर्म ऑफ द आई शुड से द मैनर इन विच वी डू द मेकअप सो हियर यू नो समबडी हु इज इंटरेस्टेड दे कैन गो अहेड सो आर्ट ऑफ पेंटिंग द फेस एंड द बॉडी विद द कलर्स इट ऑल्सो मैटर्स अ लॉ देन तांडुला कुसमा बाली विकारा विच इज द आर्ट ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग offerings from rice and flowers you know on the stage the moment you enter ganesh vandana or saraswati vandana or if you are performing a tanda you know how to uh, you know go ahead with the salutations to lord shiva these things have been uh, really um, uh, you know discussed over here so tandula is basically the leaves and everything kusuma is the flowers bali would be coming in with the rice and everything what kind of sacrifices you are going to do and then uh, discuss over there if you are doing some kind of a mistake on the stage or the uh, performance when you are presenting it out then pushpa tarana that is the art of making covering of flowers for a bed imagine that this was also an art you cannot uh, like uh, fine we have got in the contemporary times the florist however at that time pushpa tarana was an art and if you read more about it you will see that yes for every uh, season for example rose so how to go ahead and decorate the bed with roses or jasmine or sunflowers there were different kind of flowers leaves and rajni gandha especially you know these kind of a things were used and you know their importance in giving out the fragrance and everything was also taken care of dashana vasanga raga that is art of applying preparations for cleansing the teeth clothes and painting of the body now you know when i was interviewing the kathakali dancers um you know when they came over to delhi and one of my students she invited me to take the interview i saw that you know uh, before they could perform uh, one week before only the preparations were done the attention to the food and the liquids that they were taking you know they need to be very pious they cannot uh, so you know there's a quite a lot of things so here you know you could really come to know what are those arts are then mani bhumika karma now what is this the art of making the ground for the jewels you know you cannot the alankara cannot take place without the jewelry right now these jewelry how and which day what color all these things have been described to us then ayya rachna that is the art of covering the bed you know with a bed sheet or uh, you know with the flowers or with the leaves or with the skins of the animals all these things were present and that itself was an art similarly udaka vadya which is the art of playing on music in water now you see this you cannot however uh, when i went to kurukshetra i uh, was able to understand certain thing and i uh, when i was interviewing i'll show you the documentary also the person when he uh, narrated certain things i was too enthusiastic that yes he is uh, trying to come up with this udaka vadya udaka is a more or less like a frog and you know the way they were trying to create that that um, uh, art of uh, creating the playing the music in water not just the music even the art of singing in water or through the water and i'll showcase that video of mine the documentary of mine and you are supposed to check it out then udaka ghata that is art of splashing with water now you see splashes when you go to fun and food village or where the swimming pools are there there is a manner in which now if you go to goa or to any of the beaches there also now they have become uh, commercialized however in ancient days there was a style there was an art which goes into it completely and a person who is interested into this kind of a thing definitely can uh, you know come up with certain things now let me uh, talk about the next uh, list now this is chitra yoga that is art of practice really applying an admixture of colors on the body or on the floor or for the stage preparation maliya grathana vikalpa that is art of designing a preparation of reds you know the flowers the uh, uh, plants that were used or the entire tree or the plantain tree how they are going to use it this thing has been discussed in maliya grathana vikalpa then shekara Uh, this is shekara pida yojana this is nothing but the art of practically setting the coronet on the head so if a crown has to be kept 
you know there is a specific way in which they need to proceed further because you are depicting a raja a royal king you know so or an emperor who is called as chakravarti now those things cannot be done so uh, in traditional schools they had lot of importance that even when a person is um, you know enacting or acting the role of a king or a god with the mukut that we say that has to be taken care of in a very pious manner so that has to be taken care through shekara pira yojana now nepathya yoga is the art of practically dressing in the tiring room which we call it as a green room how they are and in what manner they are inculcating what kind of a things they have to take care all those things sugandha yukti it is the art of practical application of aromatics now ether perfumes deodorants that we use right now in the earlier days it was uh, the uh, sugandha they say like for example chandan sugandha was different rose was different jasmine was different so you know they have to take care and then uh, proceed further and that was also so a kala that was showcased to us then we have got the uh, bhushana yojana that is art of uh, applying or setting the ornaments like for example on arms what kind of a jewelry should be there for your neck now if it is a female how they are going to create so all those things are present in the ta- uh, ta- category of bhushana yojana then you have got aindra jala that is art of juggling for the magicians you know it's a complete art that has been given then you have got kauchumara art uh, that is yojana that is kind of art that you have got then hasta laghava that is art of sleight of hand how to use the ropes when you are running the chariot or you are um, you know riding over it and moving from one place to the another one chitra saku papa uh, bhakshya vikara kriya this is the art of preparing varieties now this is something which all always have attracted me not that i didn't like it however this was totally a different kind of a thing wherein the uh, kitchen was given away completely dedicated to those um, men you should say individual cooks who were responsible for preparing so this is also very different so it is chitra shaka poopa bhakshya vikara kriya so it is also a kriya an activity remember that then panaka rasa ragasava yojana art of practically preparing palatable drinks and tingling droughts with red color now these were also very much important you know as to how they are taking care of and they cannot do it for example if they are making a, a let's say a drink with elaichi then there is a manner in which that uh, particular uh, you know uh, spice has to be taken care of and then the taste enhances comes in or the flavor comes through the entire drink so this is also a uh, yojana they call it as under the kala then suchi vaya karma no suchi, suchi is like sui that the word that you have got so art of needle works and weaving is completely vaya is weaving so here they have discussed about this thing so this takes care about the third list and coming over to the fourth one now let's have a look at it now sutra kida now this is a uh, art of playing with the thread it's a kida now uh, i don't know how many of you have seen a uh, playing with skipping ropes or elastic now when i was a kid i could see some of my friends playing very nicely with the threads and everything so it was also an art and if you read some of the puranas which are there the sports uh, you know completely they are talking about here they are saying it is the sutra kida uh, sutra is thread however you can even talk about ropes and uh, see what kind of a art was there for that then veena damuraka vadya it is art of playing on lute and small drums then we have got uh, prahelika that is art of making and solving riddles okay then it is durvat uh, dur this is durvachaka yoga that is uh, art of practicing language difficult to be answered by others which we can see in even in philosophy also pustaka vachana art of reciting books narrating the stories reading a book there is an art completely you cannot read a book in whatever way so the style and everything has been uh, prescribed in this particular art then uh, nati okay this is natika 
darshana that is art of enacting short plays and anecdotes you know uh, like nowadays we have got uh, small ads or these uh, five minutes uh, movie those kind of a things you can talk about then kavya samasya purana this is the art of solving the enigmatic verses patika vetra bana vikalpa this is nothing but the art of designing preparation of shield cane and arrows now because these has to be taken care of in warfare or battlefields there is an art you cannot now i see in kerala andhra pradesh and karnataka that yes there are those traditional schools where they know and even if you go to bihar um or, or even odisha you will see that yes there is sword fighting even in china and tibetan uh, schools also you know they have the complete now similarly if you go for the martial arts in japan or china you will see that yes those are the ones that we are talking about here then tarku karma this is art of spinning by spindle you know and then we have got takshana art of carpentry vastu vidya art of engineering raupya ratna pariksha this is art of testing silver and other jewelries you know it's not like the acid or you are taking care of it you go to a jewelry person there is a special trick in which they come to know whether the ornament that you have uh, come over there to sell off or to uh, keep it on loan or whatever it is you will see that yes they first of all deduct and test whether it is the authentic jewelry or not similarly you have got dhatu vad which is art of metallurgy now here also you will see that people have really taken a lot of pain in order to understand them now coming to the fifth list you will see if they are talking about mani raga gyana that is art of tinging jewels now you see when you are walking now you see uh, okay all of us are grown up so let me just share it that uh, yes our society had prostitutes they, uh, they who were called as devdasis you can say or even vaishyas you can say or it was uh, you know ganikas also they were uh, uh, you know given that kind of a thing and in ancient school all these uh, you know these are the arts in which they were supposed to and you will see uh, in certain movies that yes they have showcased like if you watch mira nayar's movie come sutra or uh, you know umrao jan the way they are dancing and uh, the clippings i'll showcase to you later on you will be seeing that yes uh, the art forms are taking place in that manner similarly akara gyana art of mineralogy then this is vriksha yur veda yoga that is art of practicing medicine or medical treatment by herbs so can you see this is coming at the level of 42 43 is mesha kukuta lavaka yuddha vidhi it is art of no doing the mode of fighting of lambs cocks and birds why because in ancient india these were used for um, the animal fight during the festival times and nowadays we see a uh, horse riding bets are taking place then you have hasta vidya that is the uh, elephant rides are there camel rides are there bulls are used cows are used so if you go and see into the society you will find that these things are available then utsad dana that is art of healing or uh, cleaning a person with perfumes you know like the way you go to spas right now when you enter the spa they ask you what variety now it is a similar kind of a thing so the spas are not something which has come up just like that because they knew about this particular art they were able to take care of it kesha marjana kaushala that is art of combing hair now there is in which uh, you know the hair has to be taken care of and entire uh, i should say scriptures are available for us just on knowing and uh, understanding those hair styles and everything akshara mushtika kathana that is art of talking with fingers the gestures talk the body talk only with the fingers the mudras all those things were important dharana matrika that is art of the use of amulets then desha bhasha gyana that is art of knowing provincial dialects now for example uh, if you go to rajasthan then uh, the marwadi language is very different like if you go to gujarat the gujaratis uh, you know present at ahmedabad will be speaking in a very different manner than the ones uh, present at surat or gandhinagar or even jamnagar now similarly if you come to maharashtra again the uh, dialects are very different come to kannada uh, karnataka sorry there you will see that yes udupi region they speak the south kannaries north kannaries the konkani all those things effects 
are present and you are able to understand them then dharana matrika we have seen uh, then this is nirmita gyana that is art of knowing prediction by heavenly voice now this is also a very important art it is more or less like uh, tarot cards however if you go to uh, andhra this art is there where it, the lady comes and you know she looks uh, uh, you know and this is even now prevalent and in uh, during the festival time the ladies come over and they predict and they tell you and that's a very pious kind of a thing yantra matrika art of mechanics then mlechita uh, kutarka vikalpa that is art of fabricating barbe areas of foreign sophistry wherein you know you can fool the other person very nicely and then they are able to uh, go ahead with the uh, discussions okay now the next one is samavachya art of conversation manasi kavya kriya art of composing verses kriya vikalpa that is art of designing a literary work or a medical remedy then this is chalitaka yoga art of practicing as a builder of shrines called after him now you see the temples the vastu kala the temples they all are very different then abhidana kosha chando gyana the art of the use of lexography and meters then vastra gopana that is art of concealment of clothes how you can conceal them the chori karna and all those things also you know was an art at that time dyuta vishesha that is art of knowing specific gambling and if you remember shakuni mama in mahabharata he was into this one and there is a complete description about this art also akarsha krida that is uh, art of playing with dice or magnet then uh, balaka uh, kridanaka that is art of using children's toys then uh, vainayika vidya that is art of enforcing discipline you know in case you see that yes the students are not behaving so there is a way in which that acharana roles were taken up and they were given to us then vaijayika vidya that is art of gaining victory then you have got vaitalika vidya that is art of awakening master with music at the dawn so for kings and queens like early morning suprabhatam that we have got by ms subalakshmi is the similar kind of a thing so these were the uh, 64 uh, kala that we have got and in india you are able to see all these things uh, taking place one after the other one in my next video i would be uh, speaking more about the vedas and the upavedas till then thank you and take care bye